Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the East with Miller Q cover. Okay, so I did a couple of small moves off screen just uh, to improve my situation somewhat. Um, it did help somewhat. <laughs> but um, yeah, right now I should really consider doing a reactivation of those units. But, however... Um, I am going to do, what am I going to do? Yes, I'm going to show you what I've got so far. All right, so Stalino area is sort of mine. I've made a little outcropping here, but it's probably not going to hold. Um, we have a lot of Soviet units on the run here near uh, a Vyrshilovgrad, which will very likely be in my hands in one or two turns, maybe. Um, the same goes for Voronezh, but that's slightly more difficult, as you can see. We've got a lot of units here. Six divisions stuck here uh, in this sort of uh, pocket. We've got four divisions here, so there's ten divisions just waiting to be completely annihilated. And I'm hoping that will work. And I'm going to try and cut off as many units as I can the next turn as well. And I am really trying to press on Voronezh. We've got the uh, SS uh, Motorized Brigade um, here. It's penetrated the line and it's going to try at least to do that well, that penetration run and, and maintain its position. I'm considering moving this thing one more step on the other side of the river. It might actually be better to do that just to keep this from falling in enemy hands, get, getting a firm grip on the um, zone of control here. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that. And we have these units, but they're withdrawing. And these units are refitting. The problem is here that we have got uh, quite a few units withdrawing. And I don't know what effect that will have on our strength here at Vronyes, but it might actually drop pretty quickly. But we'll wait and see. We're going we're gonna to say end this turn right now. And then see what the Soviets have for us. So yeah, I'll probably be... Well, at least be doing quite a few uh, of these um, kind of games in the future. I, I'm, I've learned to love this game, at least. Grand Strategy was never my thing. I'm not very good at it. But I'm seriously considering doing more of it now that I've figured it out. Oh, look. <laughs> Great. Yep. There we go. We've got ourselves a nice little uh, partisan there, I think. <gasps> Are they pushing into my line here? No. Oh, they are. Okay. And then some guys are interdicted. Okay, great. Oh, they're falling back. That's smart of them. Oh, no, they're not falling back. They're actually coming forward. Okay. Interdicted yet again. Interdicted yet again. Wow, they're massing troops at Vronyesh. Quite a few. More interdictions by my troops. Trying to hold them in place is a uh, key here. Wow, I think all of those routed units might get ready, rallied, I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. But that's what it looks like. They're losing men over it, that's for sure. They're losing men over it, and I don't mind that. Not one bit. But that means we can cut more units off next turn, so I'm not really worried about that. This bit, though, the tank units, they do worry me. I think this is a fresh company, it looks like. I haven't seen the color pink that often, have I? Or is it just me? Have I gone... I, uh, I may have gone um, blind, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, this may turn out to be our, our main concern here. The north is... Well, we've got a lot of guys um, not really able to move, which is somewhat concerning. Oh, he's actually putting troops out. I'm pretty sure now. That's what I do. 
These guys, though, they're toast as well. Don't know where they're going to go, but they're not going to go anywhere. Unless he somehow manages to get out of that pocket. Stalingrad's... It's actually really underwhelming what's going on there. Okay, those guys are moving. I don't know where they're moving, but they were interdicted. Great. Oh, guards units. Look to the right there at the bottom. New ones. So yes, um, more... Um, Okay, that's it. Great. I just hope I didn't just get swamped by Soviet units going through my lines. That would be terrible. Because, well, I'm trying to get through their lines. <laughs> then again, you know, this is all uh, one big distraction. We, we want to go to Baku. And if all those units are not there, down there, then that's fine. All right, let's. I want to look at that southern sector. What's going on here? Oh, they actually can go into that corner. Those little pieces of shit, really. Now we have to commit some sort of battle group there. I hate that. Okay, well, we'll get to that part. Okay, these guys need to get off the train now. Thank you. And then what we need to do is uh, slam the trap. Shut. We'll do it with, um... Well, I guess we'll do it with this unit here. They held? What's this devilry? How do they hold? Hungarians, take care of it. Surrender. Yeah, that's right. Surrender, surrender. Great. Job. Okay, that pocket is now closing. I like that. These guys somehow have a defense of five. How do they manage that? Well, whatever. You're dying now. I'm gonna take my troops here. Um, smash you into the wall here. Okay. They held! What the hell? How do they... I did quick attack again, didn't I? Okay, hold on. Can we assign troops here? Jagd Panther, Panzer. Are these, are these tanks? Wait. Do they have? No, they don't. They don't have tanks. What do we need then? Assign Pioneers Stugs. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do our little attack thing. There we go. Surrender. Press them out of business. Alright, so now that we've got our hands somewhat. Um, free. We can do this. Another surrender. Great job. Then we can use the Romanians to. There we go. Totally worked. Fall in. Fall in. There it is. Surrendered. Great. Surrendered, surrendered. Good, so 10 units have actually surrendered. Well done. Well done indeed. All right, this is fine. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna create a new pocket here. In fact, we will be doing a quick attack over here, routing that unit, getting into the forest here if we can. Ooh, those units were not very well supplied if they're out of juice already. Um, hmm, that wasn't exactly the plan, but okay. That's fine. That is okay. Alright, we need to form a line, I guess. And cut them off. There we go. Takes care of that. Behind them. Get behind them and um, get some other units behind them. Let's see. This unit is actually in a terrible position. We don't want that. Uh, I think we've got their supply though from two sides. So that's really good. And what we could do is make it even worse. 
Oh, fortress. Oh, they surrendered. Yes, they did. They did just now. Okay, this unit. All of them held. How the hell do they hold? Go this. Go this. Told you they wouldn't hold. <laughs> Stupid Soviet troops. And there we go. We captured some stuff here. Good. Get this motorized unit. And flee. Wonderful job. Cut through their lines. No, they held. Okay, well, fine. Okay. That's the best we can do with those units, apparently. Okay, let's close the uh, the gap here. If we can. Uh, yeah, they can't move anymore. They did their movement thing already, so I'll move this unit over here. This unit over here. We need to close this gap badly. All right, that tank unit can hold that. It's no problem. And I guess we'll move you guys over here. Great. Well done. Um, yes, move over here. Make escape an impossibility. If we can. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. Well, actually, um, hmm. It's difficult, you know. They could cross the river and get us in the flank and I don't want that it's pretty difficult I had not expected this to be so difficult okay you guys can refit there just um, chill for a moment actually you don't need to refit you're actually in pretty good shape don't do that no need no need to do that you can go over here there we go that tank unit is way out there okay um, but you can't get rid of this. You should. And maybe... Yes, you can fill the gap. Perfect. Nobody's getting me. Ha! There we go. And this is a mountain division. Okay. Uh, pff, we'll uh, move over here. And attack this unit. Just because we can Actually, we might be able to break through here. There's a lot of routed units here. Oh, no. Well, I tried, right? Nope, they still hold. Bad idea, then. Okay, well... Let's look at the mess we're up in against here. What? How do they hold? Really? Can we assign new other troops here? No. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Okay. Well, that's fine. Do it again. Smash them. How did they not help? What? How? These guys are in perfect shape. They couldn't move. Really? Makes no sense. Uh, okay, that one is not going anywhere, but this one might. That's a perfect unit for that corner. Let's do that. Mark them up. How badly are you in the supply situation? You are in terrible shape because of me. Eh. No need to worry. We're gonna move our headquarters up so if you are in somewhat better shape. There we go. This is better. Okay. Now what we need to do is crush this little group here. They've got a defense of 24. And we might want to bump this up right now. So what we'll do is get to this one. Assign a Stug Battalion and some Pioneers. And let's see if we can assign, yeah, some more Pioneers. There we go. That'll pump them up to strength 20. 
which is still not enough. But we could be really nasty. We are really nasty. Okay. Um, let's give. Let's throw everything into the mix, shall we? Sign units, the more pioneer battalions. Okay, everything is there. We've got everything. They held. Despite our numerical superiority, they held. That is a terrible thing. Okay, what about if we move across these rivers? Is that an option even? Can we... Well, what we could do... <gasps> we can move these guys into this gap. It's perfect. They, they're almost out of supply, but still... It's perfect. Move. Get going. Could we do a deliberate attack with all of them? We, we could, but it, it didn't work. Oh, God. We scouted their, their troops there. Okay, that's, that's, that's uh, acceptable. They held. Give it another try. Their defense is down to 12, though. We could, theoretically, uh, do this now. And still held. Defense is up to 13 again. Damn it. Get rid of these tanks. That's sort of worked. And routed, routed. Exactly. exactly what we needed. And unfortunately, these motorized divisions... Well, they can actually move all the way up here. And then we've got some really ridiculous strength here. We'll do it. We'll try and river cross now. This is almost double the strength. The hell! Bastards, really? Held again. Rivers make for such incredible fortified positions. It's ridiculous. Alright. Just get in here. Anyone else care to fight? Oh. Well, that scared him. That scared him good. We'll just uh, turn this into one huge pocket, uh, shall we? Yeah. Yes, we will. This is going to be a huge pocket if I make it. Um, oh, we can cut through here, really? That is nice. Get these troops over here. Uh, smash that. Oop. Smash through this one. Through that. Yeah, I want to see you try this now, buddy. Damn it. Still held. This is still sort of supplied. That's a problem. But we might be able to fix that with... Motorized units. Gotta love them. And there we go. Got a retreat. And that one goes into the gap. And now we can start by surrounding these units with Hungarians. And then when you're surrounded with Hungarians, you know the end is nigh. Especially when they have tanks. We'd better take care of these. These artillery men are done. Oh my god, you were interdicted? Oh, barely. 
fine. Still get rid of you. Not to worry, we will get rid of you. Um, okay, I think we should get these guys in here. Mm -hmm. No, actually, this is a good position to hold. Although, it's probably better to hold on this river because... Yeah, this is a wide river. That's why it's all going to hell. In a handbasket. Uh, fine, though. We are pushing on Voronezh, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. These troops are going to go forward over here. Hmm. Interesting. Cut them off here. Can we cut them off here? I wonder. Just come on. No way. How the hell did they hold? Well, that's fine. I'm not going to complain about it. That's just going to be it. These units, though. I, I need to get more units into that pocket. These guys are really crappy supplied. It's horrible. Maybe we can... Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. One more unit like that. Uh, this one is strong enough. There we go. Got him to retreat. Okay, who of you can still work? Okay, you still move. No, you have lost the ability to move for the time being. I'm gonna march you up here like this. And we need to close this gap as well. I think we'll start by closing up this gap first. There we go. And then we'll get these guys down here. They're actually resupplying. But that's okay. I can still do that. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. I'm going to move you over here. And you're in a tough supply situation now. That's not exactly what I had planned, but okay. I'll take it. I think I'll um, move you into this woods area. There we are. That's better. Everyone's happy. Everyone's supplied. Now what about this unit? Uh, could be better. Could be better. I think I'm going to move them slightly closer to the front line there. Keeping your unit supplied. Important. Remember. Always remember. We can close the gap with these tanks. And we have lots of Soviet in the pockets. Which is where we like them. They're not going anywhere. We could scare these guys off if we wanted to. Might as well. Bye bye. Nobody's getting through these lines. Not on my watch. Not in a million years. Har har. Okay. This is also slightly worrying. Um, do we have anyone we can use to close this up? Nope, nope, that's not going to happen. So they might have a chance if they can push through here. They might have a chance. But then, you know, what are the odds? Oh, can you guys still move? Yes, you can. What about the real network? How's the real network going over here? Do we know? Do we? Still crap. Not doing so great on the rail network there. Okay, fine. But you guys can still move. That is a very positive thing. Um, in fact, I'm going to move you right up here next to your Hungarian buddy buddies. And then I'm going to move those headquarter units out. Oh, that is a headquarter unit. Ah, what is this? 
That's an infantry division. What is it doing in this town? Not protecting anyone. Um, oh, actually, that is a, um, 223, oh, no, no, it's actually for, um, to take care of partisans and such. Did we have partisans in this sector? I don't remember. But we did have partisans somewhere. But where? I don't recall. Okay, um, yeah, we better get these guys sorted. Yeah. Um, this unit is really far away. Holy crap. See if we can fix that. Yeah, this is probably better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way better. Okay. All right. So we're taking care of these Soviets. Hopefully next turn. Uh, can these tanks still move? <laughs> they can. We might be doing ourselves a big favor by positioning them at this river, <laughs> so that no Soviets get the I bright idea of being douchebags. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Alright, so that's that sort of it's for now. It's sort of sort of a static line. I don't like that, but we will not fix that this round, it looks like. And we have a huge gap over here as well. I don't like that at all. I'm going to do this. Close that up. No, we can't actually <gasps> could pull you back. That is a really good idea because that will isolate that unit. And then we can still move you. Um, yep. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Terribly bad. That might have been a mistake, but we'll see. We will see what happens. These guys have okay. We've got the headquarters unit there. This is a really thin spread. I don't like this. If they rally any of those troops, we are in trouble. <laughs> All right, Virushilovgrad. Then Virushilovgrad is being defended by this unit. Yeah, that's the city. We can bump up the jam a little bit. Bump it up. Assign some stogs or pioneers or whatever we've got. Can we assign? No, you've no. You have no chance of doing anything there. That's fine. Um, you don't need to fight. You do though. Let's see if we can make this a deliberate attack by the Italians. Holy crap! That's a lot of stuff. How many men did we kill? 500. That's not even that great. We can move in with these troops. That is that is great, actually. That is fantastic. And let's get this, uh, let's get this line sort of sorted along the river here. And let's get our flank clean here. The shield of Grudge is three hours. There we go. Can these guys still move? N not into a different zone, apparently. We'll move them across the river again. That's fine. And get these guys in here. These are fresh infantrymen. Take care of this corner. Will. Yeah, look at that. Can we move you up? No, no. Yes. Pretty much anyone still on this side of the river, you're not welcome here anymore. Not welcome at all. That is a really strong piece of shit right there. How are we going to deal with that? I'm not sure, but I want to get rid of this as well. Um, can we? Oh, that's because of the headquarter unit, isn't it? Can you 
not move there? Yes, you can. I thought you might. Okay, who of you cannot move? These Romanians can move, no problem. Take care of that. Uh, this this unit though is is an issue. We should try and cut them off. Yeah, the tanks can do this. Oh, tank versus tank. We lost some tanks. <laughs> that was to be expected. Come on. Get rid of them. Uh, not our best uh, performance to date. Can we, um, no, it no longer has that option. Okay, that's fine. We do need a unit to hold, sort of holds control here, so. We are we gonna get those guys in there? I suppose we can get these guys in here. And these guys to retreat. How are we going to do this? Probably like this. Uh, assign Pioneer Battalion. Assign nothing. Anything we can assign here? Nothing. That's it. Try and take the river crossing. If we do. Not going to happen. At least. Get rid of those guys then. I got rid of that. Uh, can we do a deliberate attack with everything we have? Oh. That is a really, really shitty situation. <laughs> Well, just not now. Hmm. Rostov defenses are holding, and that's all because of stuff happening over here. Stuff that I did not necessarily anticipate. There's no way we're going to dislodge this unit without moving all the way around. Hmm. Yes. Let's get rid of the option here to move around. Go. And do these Italians have the capacity to move? These guys do. Go. Okay. I would really, really love to get rid of these guys, but I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. Can move these guys down here, but how well will that serve us? Probably not very well at this point. But these broad rivers, man, they are the absolute terror to my troops. There's just no way. There's no way. And here's another one. I think this is another one of those broad river crossings. We've got Strength 21, and I don't know what. Ah! Well, take it back. I take it back. And there we go. We took the town. Great job, guys. We took the town. And I suppose we could um, move in here as well. Krasnodar defenses are setting up. We've got more tons of fuel from that. Come on, guys, start liberating them. <laughs> yeah, we need to move our head headquarters up here next. There we 
go. That's where we're going. Motorized units. Ooh, no, but this is even better. The Jaegers. They are currently set to withdraw for whatever reason. Don't know. Oh, we actually sent them running. Oh, my. That is the most beautiful thing. Okay, oh, well, let's get them uh, all, all those troops in here. Go. Start moving in. We've actually penetrated the Azov Sea. Um. Yep. That whole situation is now getting resolved. Cool. We've actually penetrated the line here. And we are going to go to Krasnodar as soon as we can. We cannot possibly do anything with these units yet. They're withdrawing. Damn it. We'll have to leave it to the Romanians, really? That's terrible. I don't know how that will end. Well, I've took a big chunk out of their army here. That is for sure. What we need to do is cut these guys off. I guess there is one way of doing that, and that's crossing here and crossing here and trying to basically take the, this area. The Broad River is not making that easy. Ooh, so basically if we move this unit here, this unit here, we pretty much cut these guys off from supply and they will falter. And we'll be able to take Feronias, but I think some units are going to stick to here and be annoying, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, I can move. Wait a minute, you haven't moved. You haven't moved. This is a good thing, because we've got some small line gaps. <coughs> that we want to address. You're withdrawing. Well, if if you're in the act of withdrawing already, you know, um, might as well scare the enemy a bit. You know. All right, you. Want to get closer. Um. Mm -hmm. No, maybe. You can look all scary. We can't attack. Annoying. Can we move that headquarters unit up here? Um, oh wow. That is a terrible way to tell me that this isn't working. Can we get any closer? Yes, we can. And we just did. And now everyone gets supplies. Thank you. Whew. I thought we were done for. Okay, these guys apparently can't move. That's okay. Uh, some of them, at least the headquarter units can move, but I don't want to move them. At least the Hungarians aren't falling back. That would have been pretty darn terrible. Right, what else do we have? We have a security section there. That's okay. Where did I see that unit of freedom fighters? Where? Where was that? Was that out here? Or did we solve that problem already? Might be that we've already solved it. That's nice. I'm not entirely sure what withdrawing means. If they're actually withdrawing, withdrawing, or if they're, uh, you know, in a process of, um, I don't know. Are they, are units leaving the front completely? Or is that... Do I interpret that wrong? Okay, we can actually close this little gap. That's nice. That's good. We'll reinforce you. How does that work? Does anyone know? If anyone can tell me in the, in the comments, that would be great. Because I'd like to know. Because I have no clue. Now, this gap might become a problem. But we've got Vereshilovgrad, so that's really good. Yay! We've captured an actual town. What else? Where, where, what flag flies over what? Okay, that's pretty important. Yeah, we're, we're getting to that. Voronezh is about to fall, as I predicted. Uh, unless this unit becomes active again, then we have some problems. But until it's r uh, it does, it's still set to routed, and uh, the only reason it's still 
sort of organized is because of that guard's rifle core, I'm pretty sure. But if we can cut them off here and cut in here, then it'll probably run. That's what I do. Their attack power is pretty shitty. So I'm not too worried about that. And we're hiding in a like pretty go good position, so... Anyhow, I am going to call this an episode, I think. I'd love to see what the Russians do in the next round, but... Uh, yeah, that's just not going to happen, is it? It isn't. Anyway, thank you all for joining me, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.